the number of pro-life congressmen wasn't half as great, or wasn't as great then, as uh, the number of pro-abortion. Uh, look, we know that our group sent X number of uh, um, mail, and they're denying they got them. You know, how you deal with that? My memory is, I, before sitting down, I, I put my drink down and I went, everybody shut up, I've got it. I said, we'll send red roses to the Congress. Let them deny that, the blank, blank, blanks. Uh, it was the dead of winter and uh, California had roses, so that's where they were coming from. And Johnson's, of course, had dealt many times with California growers, especially in the middle of winter. <clears throat> well, he called that day, could have been Wednesday evening into Thursday, I just don't remember. But he said that uh, he heard from the California growers that they couldn't ship any roses. And I said, what's the reason? He said, well, they're not really giving me any. Well, I have a very cynical mind. And I said, the California congressman, because as I said, the press releases had gone out that <clears throat> The California congressmen are universally pro-abortion. I said, absent anything else, I said, had they had a fire or a flood out there or any? And then he says, uh, no. I said, so you think come this, past this next Tuesday, you think what's going to be there are the roses growing in California? And he sort of half shrugged, but I said, what can we do? And he, he, I remember he gave me a, a, a half like a shoulder, a half a arm around and just patted me. And he looked at whoever was with me and he says, go home, I'll work on this. <laughs>